Hey everybody, do you have a Behringer XR series mixer? And up until this point, you've been using the iPad app to control it. Only now with iOS 16 being released, the app no longer works. Well, I've got a free workaround for you and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Let's go. Just one quick thought before we get right into this. I realize this isn't gonna be for everyone. Not everyone wants to connect virtually from one machine to another, totally get it. But if you don't wanna spend money on another iPad app, or you just, you can't right now and you need a free solution, this is actually pretty quick and pretty simple. So let's get right to it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is install VNC on your computer. Why? Because that's how we're gonna use the iPad to connect. We're gonna run Behringer XR software on our computer and we're gonna use VNC on an iPad to control that software. So VNC is free software. You don't have to pay for it. You just have to sign up for an account and that account will let you control five devices. So you can put it on anything you want. I already have it installed, but this is the website you get it from. I will have the link uh, in the description for you. So make sure it's installed. And then the next thing you're going to need to do if you don't already have it done is install the Xair Edit software on your computer. Uh, that comes from the Behringer website and you can find it here under the software tab for either the XR18, the 12 or the 16. It doesn't matter, it's all the same software. And you're going to look for the Xair Edit, either the PC, Mac or Linux version, whatever you need. Obviously in this case we're using the PC version. Um, I also have that installed. So I have VNC running already because I've installed it. You can see it's running down here in my services. And then I'm gonna run the XR Edit software. I'm gonna to connect to my mixer and then transfer my mixer settings to my PC. Now, here's an important step. It's this resize button. Um, this is what the standard window looks like, but we wanna resize this to fit the window height. Sorry, I need to maximize the window first, full screen it, and then I'm going to do window height. Height is important because it lets us see everything from top to bottom on the channel strip. Width isn't that important because you can move the window around on your iPad. Anyway, now that this is connected, we're going to jump over to the iPad. So you can see here on my iPad, once it pops up, there it is. You can see my iPad. I've got VNC Viewer already installed. Again, you need to do that first. You're gonna get it from the App Store and then you're gonna log in with the same credentials you use to create an account on the website. It's pretty simple. It doesn't take very long. There's a couple of confirmation steps, but it's worth it in the end. So I'm gonna launch VNC Viewer. I'm gonna connect to the correct computer. In this case, it's my desktop three. And you can see there's the computer. Um, here's an important little step for you. There's a little... Uh, control tab for VNC and you're going to want to click on the I for information and you want to make sure that your interaction is set to touch panel not to mouse. I mean you could use mouse as well but it's a little more difficult to control. If you set this to touch panel then it works just like a touch panel. It works just like the software would on the iPad. So once you've done that you can see anywhere I grab on the iPad is being mirrored on the computer. It's actually pretty convenient. And I'm just gonna change the camera view here. So I changed the camera view there because I wanted you to see that I'm actually using the iPad to touch. And you can see on my multi-view in the background that it is being referenced in real time on both the iPad and the computer. It's pretty convenient. And because this is acting like a touchpad, but it's a remote view, you can actually zoom in and out. You can move stuff around which might seem detrimental at first, but it's actually kind of convenient if you're doing something like looking at your EQ and you really want to zoom in and get close to it. You can see that this also reacts pretty quickly. It's, it's pretty snappy actually. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. It's pretty cool. That's it, another successful connection. In this case, using an iPad and VNC to control the Xair software on a computer because it just doesn't work on iOS anymore. And if you have a problem with this, make sure you complain to Behringer. They have been really lax on keeping this software up to date. This is not an Apple problem. This is a Behringer problem. So make sure your anger is directed in the right place. 
Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, be sure to like and subscribe and share and click the bell so you get notified the next time we release a video. And until next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies.